Was out or you want it? Here we go. Here we go. När en låt var klar fortsatte man med att i nio timmar och utan resultat försöka få Jeff Beck att lägga på ett gitarrsolo på en låt som spelats in vid det tidigare tillfället. Så vi löste den. Ja? Break for half hour? Mm. I mean, there's nothing more we can do that we, other than put guitars on, is there? Mm. What things make a good producer? How is he equipped mentally? And I think that he has to be um, very diplomatic. He has to play the role. Uh, he has to play the role to the artist he's producing. To certain artists, you pretend to be somebody else. To other artists, you're somebody else. You have to fit in with their sort of scene. If, see, a producer's job is to get the record made. 
finished. Get it out. And you can see, like, from the filming you've done, um, but it's not easy because so you're dealing with five people in a group, four or five people in a group. But they've all got their own little things they want to do. They've got their own little minds. What, and when the drummer is listening to the playback, he's only listening to the drums. And the bass player's listening to the bass, and the singer's just listening to his voice. They've all got their own little bits going. So you have to be very diplomatic. I think when you finish being a record producer, you could become a politician. <laughs> because, it, you know, it's, it's just being diplomatic and going, getting the job done. That's the two qualities, I think, that are necessary. And not fall in the trap of sitting about with them and becoming like them. You've got to always be the driver, but you mustn't appear to be too driving too hard because they, they get uptight as well. You have to be kind of a social worker too. Well, yeah, a psychiatrist. And mother and, yeah. yeah, you've got to get them together, that's the thing. How long do you think one could be active in this branch or, or business? Uh, as long as I think you have the ability to pick a hit song and... Um, and get the luck that's needed, and uh, the patience <laughs> that's required. I, I think it's, you know, uh, I think the minute you stop hearing the music, no, I don't know, I think you make a couple of records that don't sell, and then that's when you realize, when you really don't understand what's it, what the records that are in the charts are all about. When they look to you, uh, you just don't, you say, how could that be number one, you know? And I'm, uh, then you know. And you, you would be wise then to um, not continue making records and putting more money into it, trying to chase something that's not there. And just get out, maybe for a year. Clear your head out, go away somewhere, away from music, and come back full of energy, batteries recharged, and listen to it again. Ah, now I understand it, or now I don't. This uh, group called Eamon Corner. Yes. And Paradise is half as nice. Yes. What do you think of that? Well, it's a very successful record here. Nice. Um, I, when I first heard it, I felt it wasn't finished. But it obviously didn't detract from the sound.